You could come and do this then. Look at you. Mm -hmm. I'm right. Don't get my license plate. <laughs> yeah. Your face. <laughs> oh, you are out here. Okay. You can close it. She's. Oh, well. to shove that bad boy up in there. You can fold it. <laughs> Just shove it in there. <laughs> Go ahead, Stephanie. Show her I was done. <laughs> All right, like a pro. Push that thing up in there. welcome back guys thank you for always coming back to watch my videos today we will be taking you along with us to do a winter wonderland baby shower right now guys we're just unloading the vans we're at the venue and yeah it's gonna be a beautiful baby shower so just stay tuned guys and watch the process Okay guys, so as you can see, we're almost done unpacking the van. That took us around 30 minutes. Um, most of the time, we only get two hours to do a setup. I know it's like bizarre, but most venues only allow two hours. Um, you do have the option to purchase more time if you'd like. It usually range from around 150 an hour so you know most um, clients don't want to pay the extra 150 so you are like stuck working with a two hour time frame but you know i try to be realistic with my clients so if i see that the for the amount of details that they want if it's not going to be done in two hours i you know make you know talk to my client and let them know listen two hours is not enough time to set to set up a big event like this so in this case our client did pay for an extra hour so we're having three hours to set up this event but technically it's only two and a half hours because we already spent 30 minutes on packing all the stuff from the, the vans so yeah it's crunch time guys we're just like moving as fast as we can um because nothing's worse than uh, guests walking into your the your event 
walking into the event while you're still setting up that's the most embarrassing thing for me so yeah i always bring extra reinforcements <laughs> all my girls that work with me they're very you know talented and they 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 know you know what we're doing we know what we're doing we're we've been doing this for a long time and they know like the sense of urgency when it comes to these type of events so yeah we you know we just try to work together and try to get it done and yeah teamwork make the dream work guys so just keep watching and see how we pull this off update and how far we got Trisique is actually doing that right now. She's cleaning them.
Okay, guys, I hope you have been keeping up with us so far. Um, right now, we're getting ready to start getting the focal point together. Um, this focal point will be uh, kind of like a triple bot drop situation. So in the middle, I'll have like a step, in, well, it's not really a step and repeat, but a printed bat drop. Um, and then on the sides, we're going to be doing drapes. So the colors, I know in the tables you've seen, we've been doing silver, um, white, and pink. However, the client specifically requested lavender in her focal point. So um, she did not want to incorporate that with, on the tables. So for this focal point, we'll be adding a touch of lavender um, to the color scheme. So we're going to be doing the printed backdrop in the middle. And then on the sides, we're going to be doing the draping. So we'll be doing the silver metal, um, silver sequin drapes with the white shares. Um, and then we'll add like pink and lavender um, drapes. So just keep watching, guys. This is my favorite part of any setup, the focal point, because this is the part that really stands out. So, yeah, just keep watching, guys. And... Yeah, we're just gonna keep working. So I'll check check back in in a few, um, just to give a little pointers here and there.
Okay guys, here we are. We already have two of the backdrops up already and we're working on the third one. The third one and the one on the other side will be the same exact thing and inside the middle part will be the printed backdrop. And basically that's where our guest of honor will be sitting in the sofa. So on this side that we're currently working on, we'll be having a treat table there and then on the other side it will be a gift table so as the guests walk in they could you know drop their gifts off and have a seat so you yeah, guys what we're gonna be doing for balloons today we're gonna go do like a simplified method because i feel like sometimes um, balloons could really elevate the look of your event but sometimes you don't want to do too much balloons because then it kind of just take away from everything else so we don't want to overpower this backdrop with like a whole bunch of balloons so what we'll be doing today is doing two eight foot garlands and those are going to be right where those silver and white drapes meet so because that's where the poles are so that's where we'll be connecting the balloons so we'll be doing two eight foot garland going straight down and yeah that's it sometimes sim you know the simpler you go the better you don't want to be too overcrowded with balloons and you know just take take away from everything else you got to know when to not use a lot of balloons some events call for more balloons but in this specific event based off of the design that we're going for we felt that two balloon garlands um would be sufficient so yeah guys just keep watching the progress as we continue to work on this we're almost done and once we're done we'll give you like the final review okay guys so we're pretty much on the final lap of this video so i just want to thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your support guys please don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we drop new content also please feel free to leave your comments below we would really appreciate your feedback on these videos and you know kind of help us to figure out what kind of content that you guys really like and what kind of content we should focus on uh, delivering to you guys so once again guys thank you so much like i said we're almost at the end so just keep watching to the end so you can see the final review of everything thank you so much see you guys in the next video okay.